Here we are, Auden Schreiner, Lovable Liam, Franco Mancini, a triple threat match for the HAW World Championship. It's going to be quite the bout. And here is challenger number one, Odin Schreiner. And Odin Schreiner has been dominant week after week, and I say it week after week because his dominance is just so consistent. But will he win this triple threat match? It'll be, it'll be interesting because we got a, a big wild card here at Lovable Liam. You know, he hasn't been as dominant, but he's certainly shown that he belongs in this main event match. And of course, the main eventer himself, Franco Mancini, the HAW World Champion. Franco has been involved in this world title month after month after month. And he's a two-time champion. He has the veteran presence in this match. He has the big game experience. So it's going to be uh, possibly in his favor if uh, he could use his veteran experience in this match. And he starts off with a little bit of a choking on Odin Schreiner as Lobo Liam watches on and then puts him in a Boston Crab. And this might be a good strategy to do a little bit of a two-on-one against Odin Schreiner here. Start the match off and to wear him down. Liam now putting Odin Schreiner in a sleeper hole. Possibly choking Odin out. And now Liam and Franco lock up in the ring. Franco hitting Liam there and now locking it up with Odin Schreiner. And a good arm breaker there. Franco needs to keep Odin Schreiner on the ground. And I think, you know, not to take anything away from Liam, but you have to to make sure that Odin Trainer does not get you from behind just like a bat. And Franco Mancini lands right on his head, but gets up in a good reversal right there. And he punches Odin Trainer on the ring, and again, he has his back turned, and Liam gets a bulldog from behind, and now a camel clutch. So maybe this, uh... Maybe with uh, someone like Odin Schreiner, the veteran presence of uh, Franco Mancini is starting to possibly get into his head. Maybe he's a little bit, a little bit scared, and uh, you never know. Liam now getting choked, I believe. I, I can't quite see. Yeah, it looks like a, a little bit of a choke hold right there. Odin Schreiner looking on, having a fun time. And an uppercut there. And another slam onto the neck of Franco Mancini. That has to not feel good. Because, you know, getting your neck awkwardly crushed into a wooden ground is quite painful. Trust me. Never had it happen. I Maybe I have. I don't quite remember. Oh, and look at that reversal by Franco Mancini landing on his feet. So maybe the veteran presence of Franco Mancini is coming back into the match. I don't know, or maybe it's just a reversal. Could be anything at this point. We're only a minute or two into the match, so I assume all these guys are fresh and have a lot to go. Have a lot to go. Yeah, that sounds good. And Liam, oh, he's outside the ring. He's searching. He's searching for a steel chair and misses uh, with the swing right there. Watching as Odin Schreiner putting in a submission hold onto uh, Liam or onto Franco Mancini, and now Liam hitting everybody with the chair. And oh, look at that enziguri by Franco Mancini on uh, Lobo Liam! It knocks the chair right out of his hand. Now he's going to work on the leg of Liam, and uh oh, Odin Schreiner has Franco Mancini, and he just power bombs him onto the steel steps. Oh my goodness, I, oh, Franco Mancini, there has to be a giant bruise on his back after that. Oh my goodness, I've never seen anyone get powerbombed on the steel steps before. Oh man, that looked extraordinarily painful. But Franco Mancini back into the ring, and, and he's, he even had a little bit of a half crab there on Odin Schreiner. I'm surprised he's still fighting after that. That looked like it could have been career ending, but Franco Mancini continuing on here. And even managing to put Lil Malim into a suplex, 
and Odin Schreiner going to work on the back of Franco Mancini. Misses with an elbow drop there. Franco Mancini possibly, no, can't capitalize on that, never mind. Uh-oh, and Odin Schreiner has a chair, you know, that's going to be really bad news for somebody. And it's bad news for Liam, he gets DDT'd right onto the chair. Oh, man, I'm... Maybe the pigtails cushion the blow, I don't know. And Odin Schreiner, oh no, another power bomb! And Franco Manchi going for a quick pin. And you know, maybe, maybe, uh oh, wait, one, two. Well, Franco Manchi is breaking in a table. What I want to say was, maybe the best strategy right now is to just let Odin Schreiner destroy the opponent, like that fireman's carry, onto the wooden table. And then take advantage of it afterwards. And, and maybe that's what Franco Mancini is trying to do. And maybe a little Liam will start trying to do that. I don't know. Because I don't know if anyone is going to be able to pin Odin Schreiner. You know, you could hit him with a chair like Liam just tried to do. But uh, Franco Mancini getting these takedowns with the back of the legs. Sends Liam into the corner right there. And a drop kick. And a second drop kick. Oh, right into the kisser. And there's, oh, another slam on the Franco Mancini's neck. He's going to need a neurosurgeon after this match, trust me. And Odin Schreiner, a power bomb onto the wooden table. Oh, my goodness, one, two, three, no. Lovable Liam kicks out, and Franco Mancini brings in a sledgehammer. Oh, I thought after that, that power bomb on the table, I thought that was it. But... Well, Bo Liam still, still has some fight left in this match. And there's a, a stomach breaker by uh, Odin Schreiner. And a German super... No! Franco Mancini lands on his foot and puts him in a sleeper hole. And that is some amazing technical wrestling right there by Franco Mancini. Whips Odin Schreiner into the corner. Gives him a drop kick. And now a fist drop. Oh, and but Liam has the chair and he's going right after Franco Mancini. Oh, but a drop kick into the corner by uh, Franco Mancini and an elbow drop. Uh oh, and Odin Schreiner gets Franco Mancini from behind, has them up in the air. This looks like it's gonna be another painful maneuver. And and Liam now going for a camel clutch and hurting the back and neck of Franco Mancini. He's doing a very good strategy, focusing on the damaged areas of Franco Mancini. And a slam there by. Odin Schreiner, Franco Mancini picks him up. And oh, a pickpocket there. Can he capitalize? Goes for the cover. One, two, not enough. Frank, er, Odin Schreiner kicking out at just two. And he's mad at this point. He's got Franco Mancini up and down for a choke slam. But Liam, back body drop to Odin Schreiner and not going for the pin. I'm surprised. If I were Liam, I'd be pinning uh, Franco Mancini, but he's got Odin Schreiner in a bear hug. Maybe he'll submit. Uh, no, he doesn't. Liam holding his stomach. Franco holding a chair. Odin punching both of them out in one swift motion. And a German super... No, Liam lands on his back and then does a reverse DDT. Well, it seems that these wrestlers have the Germans... German suplex scouted very well, and they know how to how to get behind them, land on their feet, and, and just make the most of the situation. Odin Schreiner now, Irish whip into the corner, Franco Mancini to the top rope, moonsault off the top, goes for the cover, one! And Liam wisely breaking up the pinfall, and oh my goodness, bust Franco Mancini! Completely open with the steel chair. He's bleeding all over the ring. Oh my goodness. And Liam has Odin Schreiner up onto his shoulders. Oh, onto the chair. And Franco Mancini runs over, goes for the pin. The ref's on the table. One. Oh man. I've never seen a ref get on the table like that before, but he certainly had a, a good view of uh, if the shoulder has gone up and well. Actually, the pinfall attempt got broken up, but still a rough and good position right there on the table. Liam going for another camel clutch here. Odin 
waiting with a sledgehammer, Franco bleeding. Oh my. And uh oh, Liam getting choked out there. Sledgehammer doing the work of a serial killer, or a wrestler in this case. Uh-oh, Odin Schreiner has the whole of Franco Mancini right now. Uh-oh, picks him up and power bombs him outside of the ring. Oh, my goodness. And Odin Schreiner, he can slip him with Liam, and he power bombs him outside of the ring. I don't believe this. Two power bombs outside of the ring. Odin Schreiner, complete dominance. He's in complete control. I have never seen anything like that. Two power bombs outside of the ring at a matter of seconds. How can somebody stop Odin Schreiner? It is just unbelievable the way he dominates these matches. Oh my goodness, what is he? He is just some sort of... of, of oh, he is an unstoppable machine. Odin Schreiner just enjoys power bombing people to their deaths Whew. and and he's just wrenching the neck of poor Franco Mancini that neck that's taken so much damage in this match from takedown after takedown and power bombs on the steel steps and the concrete floor outside oh my how is Franco Mancini still fighting how is little boy Williams still fighting this is just this is borderline torture, and Liam, he's got Franco Mancini in a bear hug, and even if Franco Mancini gives up, it won't count. He's outside of the ring. So these guys are going to have to get back in the ring if they want to... And see, Franco Mancini, he's got the veteran presence, although maybe he wouldn't want Odin Schreiner in the ring, but you can't win outside of the ring, and Odin accidentally knocks the ref down, but, but he picks him up, and the ref is fine. Odin Schreiner is really on the ball here today. Knocks Liam outside of the ring. Maybe that's a little bit of revenge back from the Royal Rumble when uh, Liam and Odin had a little bit of uh, kerfuffle in the ring and going over the ropes there. Irish whip in the corner by Franco Mancini grabs hold of Odin Schreiner. Odin Schreiner doing a little bit of uh, shoulder thrust into the rope and now some punches by Liam. We've got some double teaming going on to Franco Mancini here. And now, oh, a double kick. And they throw him down. Liam and Odin Schreiner are unlikely partners, but they're aligning. And I guess both of them want to get the pin on Franco Mancini. Liam showing his strength and throwing Odin Schreiner onto the uh, sledgehammer. And going for an, a submission right here. Odin Schreiner does not, does not tap out. Thrown into the turnbuckle is Franco Mancini, Odin Schreiner, and he's got him. Oh, look at that look in his eye. Odin Schreiner is happy, and Franco Mancini is quite possibly dead. Liam, though, knocking down Odin Schreiner, but holding his pigtails. If he can capitalize and get the pin on... Oh, no, Odin Schreiner himself punches Franco Mancini, or er, lovable Liam around there. Oh, not another power bomb. Oh, and Liam's head hits the back of the steel chair. Goes to the cover. One, two, three. Odin Schreiner, the new H.A.W. World Champion. He completely controls this match. I think lovable Liam is out of it. Franco Mancini left in a bloody heap. And Odin Schreiner... The new H.A.W. World Champion. What a performance by this man. I am scared to see what the future holds for the people who compete for this title. Because this man may be holding the title for a long, long time.